breath retention, meaning holding your breath. Okay, now you might be wondering why would we want to hold our breath? You know, surely we should all be breathing all the time. We're not breathing enough. Da da da. Okay. Uh, well, there's some serious reasons for this. Okay, the yogis knew thousands and thousands of years ago. Okay, that um, when you hold your breath for a certain period of time, okay, you actually change. The oxygen level in your blood okay so using the same device okay we can actually control our oxygen levels okay this is called a pulse oximeter okay and we can measure our oxygen levels see this number here is 98 percent spo2 okay however we can influence this number okay we can bring it down okay by holding our breath now, you might be wondering, why would we want to lower the oxygen in our bloodstream? Well, okay, here's a couple of reasons why. Actually, we have inside our cells, inside the, the, the cells of our body, mitochondria, which are like our energy packs, our batteries in our cells. It produces ATP energy, without which life would not exist, okay? So the mitochondrial function is import important for your well-being. In fact... You could say a lot of the diseases in the West now are due to mitochondrial uh, dysfunction. We can correct it doing the technique I'm going to sh share with you now. So mitochondrial uh, produce um, energy with, by using oxygen. Okay, so that's why we breathe at all. But imagine it's like a fire being produced inside. Okay, this energy with the oxygen is just like a real fire. Like when you make a bonfire or something like that, you need air to let the fire breathe. However, too much air, like if you look at the Californian forest fires, too many big winds and burning bushes creates epic fire that devastates the land. Okay, the same thing happens with you. If you over breathe, too much breathing, too much oxygen, okay, and not enough carbon dioxide actually causes stress on the body, it causes oxidative stress. Fire burns too bright. Okay. And that causes damage, free radical damage, leads to stress, and it can lead to cell death and disease. But too little oxygen, okay, the opposite, means the fire doesn't burn at all, all right? And we need, we need some fire, okay, but we need the right amount. We need to balance and control the fire, inner fire. So actually, pranayama, which is the ancient school of breathing, breathwork, in India, which came from this legend of Soma, means energy control. So just through breathing techniques, we can start to control the energy inside our body, our physiology. It's super powerful, okay? So uh, by doing a ritual where you actually lower your oxygen for a short period of time, it's known as intermittent hypoxia, can actually lead to very powerful effects okay in the body as you start to train the body to become really good at using less oxygen less oxygen and if being efficient at using oxygen leads to less damage less fire in the body okay it means you live longer okay you could call this the science of immortality as well it's one of the reasons why yogis live a very long time okay if you read all the legends or if you go to the Himalayas, you'll see these yogis who just just don't die. They just live for, for ages. You know, some people, uh, they can't, they have no idea how old some of these yogis are because they've kind of cheated death to a certain degree. And I've seen some of these people in per person. In fact, my, um, my Swami who taught me all these techniques, she's like in her 70s, but she looks like 40. Okay, it's incredible. I even younger. Okay, it's amazing how well, how good she looks for her age. So... I know these techniques can work. I've firsthand seen the evidence of it, the proof of it, since I've been doing it, okay? 